Back to Lisa Michelle, Beyond the Scale. I got company this morning. Spirit done followed me from the house and is coming with me on my walk. I guess I don't know how far he's going to go, but he's walking with me. I thought, how nice I've got company this morning. He's just as sweet as he can be. Yeah, he had a good night's sleep. Hi, Papa. Hi, Papa Daddy. Hi there, honey buns. You walking with your mama's honey bunny. You're just so sweet. Well, I went to weigh in Sunday yesterday at my wonderful meeting of beautiful people that go to the meeting that I go to. I, I really, hands down, think we do have the best meeting on Sunday <laughs> in the Lakewood office. Um... I did really good all week and was doing my simply filling part of the Weight Watchers plan and wasn't anything hard about it. My big thing is um, I need to have those supplies in the house with me. If I don't have those things with me, I start eating, you know, everybody else's things and it's just not good because... What everybody else is eating is not what I should have. And that's what happens, you know, when you live with other people, which, you know, we all pretty much do. So, we just have to do what we have to do for us. It just depends on when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. So, what are you going to do with yourself? But I had a really good week and I'm down 1.8 really I think I'm down more because I was 195 but when I was 195 the meeting before I didn't put the sticker in the book so I know it's more than that I was 195 I'm down to 193 point something I can't remember the exact pointage but I'm down to 193 so I'll take it um that was a week's worth of fun. We'll call it fun. We're not going to call it work because when it's work, nobody wants to do it, right? So we're just going to go ahead on and call it a week's worth of fun. I'm going to try to get some of these pomegranates from these people one day. When I do, I'm going to pick some and bring them to the Weight Watchers group for you women. Don't worry. I'm working on it, okay? They, 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 they got everything. See, they've been falling on the ground. These people aren't eating these pomegranates. I'm going to get some. So, you just wait and see. We had a really good, good topic at the meeting. This was our little booklet. Get happy. Boost your everyday joy. It can help you live healthier and lose weight. Some bug messing with me. Leave me alone now. I'm talking to the good people here. This is the page. I'm going to do this and see how this works out. Funny thing is, mostly I'm always happy. So, you know, we all have our times when we're not happy. But for the most part, I'm always happy. I don't let all that negativity get in my universe. It's just like a good thing. You know, people are always complaining and talking about what they're not going to do and who did this and who talked about what. And a lot of those um, TV shows that people watch have a whole bunch of negativity. It seems like people just gravitate to negativity and drama in everyday life. And, man, you got enough drama for yourself. You don't need nobody help on TV entertaining you with their drama. And half of it is made up anyway. It's not even true. But you know how, if you're older, you know, like myself, I'm 50, uh, we used to be watching um, All My Children and One Life to Live. I said, I'm not watching that mess. One day, it was on the TV. And I walked by and something happened. I'm like, oh. I was hooked and I was watching it ever since. I said, this is a doggone shame. The people are good and they know what they're doing to reel you in. 
but you have to push yourself away from that nonsense. It's nonsense. Live in your world. Be the best you can be. And get up out of that mess. It's not feeding your soul. Do things that feed your soul. That's what I'm doing because I'm feeding my body right now with activity so I can be the best me that I can be and be better feeling. And it works for your weight loss too. It's like walking is just amazing. You don't want to go when you start, but once you get there, you feel so amazing. I really do feel amazing. I'm going to have to take a small break and sit down because I'm aching. My poor legs didn't want to do this this morning, but here I am anyway. I'll, I'll go over this really quick. Think of three good things that happened to you in the last 24 hours. Well, in the last 24 hours, I was down 1.8 at the meeting, really more, because I lost that sticker. I was in the store shopping with my family, getting the healthy foods that all of us want to eat. So that was that felt really good. And I was doing my artwork yesterday, so that made me feel good. I was happy. Write down the details of what was said, where did it happen, what time of day, and what were you wearing. Well, I'll have to actually write that down. I'm not that good. I could just rattle that off the top of my head. I haven't had coffee. How did you feel during the event and afterward? Well, during the event of being at the meeting with the lovely ladies and gentlemen that go there, I felt really good. I felt like I've accomplished something because I did. And it was a whole, a whole week that I did finally what I was supposed to do. You can't be sitting at home non-active whether you've been in an accident or you're disabled or you know something's going on with you maybe even depression but you can't just be sitting at home eating whatever it is that you think you feel like you want to eat because guess what you're gonna blow up because I did it's hard but it doesn't have to be I'm making this a pleasurable event I'm happy I'm taking care of myself I feel amazing but anyway, during that event of the meeting, I felt good. And everybody talked. Um, I shared with the people in the meeting that I have my YouTube channel, which I am on right now, talking to you good people. It is called Lisa Michelle Beyond the Scale. Oh, yeah. Ah, I have pretty good topics. A lot of times I'll just rattle off like I'm doing now, but... For the most part, I'm just talking about being happy this morning. And after the event of the meeting, I still felt good because I went to the store. Leaving off of where I left off at, the people were going by talking kind of loud. So, I don't want them chit-chatting up in my video. This is my video, okay? You know, you get your own YouTube channel and you all can talk. But anywho... At the after part of the event that made me happy after that meeting, went to that grocery store, went to the Vons, it's right in the same center as the Weight Watcher meeting, and went shopping with my family, and guess what? We were in there getting all kind of fruits and vegetable, fat-free cheese, grilled chicken, you know, that you have to grill yourself, it wasn't pre-cooked, but pre-chopped butternut squash, I got brown rice, all, all just all kind of nice healthy things to keep you successful. And you know what I did yesterday? Something I don't usually do, which I should and don't. I actually pre-tracked my food. I knew what I was going to have for the next meal. I did it right after breakfast because I didn't want to um, be looking and searching in the kitchen for something to eat and 
I didn't know what it was. You don't wait till you get hungry to start finding out what you're going to have for whatever meal. So what I did was I pre-tracked and prepared. So for lunch, I had a simple lunch. I had um, half a cup of fat-free cottage cheese, some pineapple chunks, and a banana. I have a sweet tooth, so that worked for me. And dinner, I had brown rice, a cup of brown rice, grilled bell pepper on the grill, and what else? Oh, and the butternut squash, half a cup of that. Everything was just so extra yummy, I promise you. Oh my goodness. What I did forget was a zucchini that I that I zoodled. So I'll have that today with um mm, you can have a half a cup of the marinara sauce, but I'm finding out that it's just like way too much. So I just drizzle a little on there. But I have to count that because it's not on the uh, simply filling food list. So, but everything else I named off, the cottage cheese, banana, pineapple, the grilled bell pepper, the brown rice, all of that's on Simply Filling. For breakfast when I came in, I made grits. I had my Thomas's light English muffin. Seems like it was something else. Hmm might have been it it was something else I just can't quite place it so it's not important but I had something else with that breakfast oh and of course coffee oh my goodness you know I'm doing this video without my um coffee so you know you all are worth it right <laughs> yeah but overall I've had a wonderful week I'm down 1.8 I'm very proud of myself it's been since June since I have not done really pretty much of anything and then you still go to your meeting at least I do you're not really looking for any results because you know you didn't do anything to get any results so you just kind of just sit and hang out and have camaraderie with the people and celebrate everyone's successes milestones setbacks it's just a healing place for us because I have a food addiction. I really don't know about the ladies in the meeting or the gentlemen in the meeting, what's going on in their lives, but I have a food addiction and I've known that since I can remember, you know, I have a really different relationship with food. Mine isn't because I'm an emotional eater or I eat because I'm stressed. Mine is, I'm, I call it a flavor eater. I'm the one that likes to eat because it just tastes so good. Food should not taste as good as it does to me, especially cupcakes and sweet things. So I try my best to stay away from those items. They're not good for me. They mean me no good. Well, I'm tired, you all. I'm walking and talking, which is a bit much for me. But then the dog's joining up. I don't know whose dog that is. Oh, he hears me, so he's in my video. But you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will catch you later. Peace.